<clears throat> Hello, friends. It's me again, so... Um, yeah, on this uh, video, I want to show my uh, latest, um, well, work on my uh, Newman motor. Um, basically, I've just added uh, a pound of uh, number 36 uh, copper wire. I have a pound right here in my hand. Um, but I uh, also have a pound um, that I've wrapped on the on the machine and that's uh, 13,000 uh, feet of uh, copper wire so I just wanted to go through some of the um, basics of the uh, smallest um, Newman motor that uh, Joseph Newman uh, built the smallest uh, working model that he had um, that model uh, had uh, what was it? Uh, 145 pounds of number 30 gauge uh, copper wire. He ran it at 300 volts, and uh, by my calculations, that equals 435,000 feet of copper wire. So uh, to build, um, you know, a smaller machine using, uh, let's say. Uh, number 36 gauge uh, copper wire I've calculated that it would uh, it would require uh, 33 pounds of number 36 gauge wire to equal uh, 435,000 feet and it would cost about uh, almost um, well over $500 Canadian and uh, it would have to be run probably at, um, instead of 300 volts, probably about uh, 1200 volts. Yeah, so let me just uh, show you my battery array. Oops. I have uh, 82 9 volt batteries. The voltage of this is uh, 724 volts. And, uh, you know, a lot of the batteries aren't fully um, charged anymore. And, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to just turn it on now for a brief uh, demonstration. What I want to do is um, I'm going to uh, take it apart and use... Um, smaller magnets for the inside because I, I think those uh, these um, the two one inch by one inch neodymium uh, magnets that I use are too uh, too heavy I could use smaller ones and it would uh, spin faster and thus uh, produce um, a faster uh, pulse rate um, Oh yeah, just uh, a little bit more on uh, why uh, Newman, Joseph Newman, wanted to use you know half a million uh, feet of wire. It's uh, basically um, it's basically a Tesla uh, concept. Uh, Tom Bearden has mentioned this as well, and uh, I'm guessing that John Benini's uh, or Bedini's uh, device runs under a similar concept. It's um, basically when you pulse uh, high voltage uh, DC current, uh, when you pulse it fast enough and you have a long enough piece of wire, you can, uh, um, well, to put it one way, uh, the electrons don't have enough time to um, complete the circuit before the, before the circuit is broken again. So really, uh, what you're doing is you're using the etheric uh, stream of energy that underlies uh, the electron flow. So the ether uh, flux field or whatever 
you want to call it, um, that completes the circuit before the electrons have time to complete the circuit because uh, you know you're pulsing it so fast and the, the wire length is so long that um, they can't uh, complete the circuit in time. So what you do is that uh, by doing that um, you never actually deplete the battery supply because the electrons are never reaching <coughs> they're reaching back to the battery. It's only the ether field itself which you're um, using and uh, by capturing the back uh, EMF of the system and using that to feed back into the batteries you can actually charge the batteries from the system and um, thereby uh, create a um, free energy device. Yeah, so without further ado, here we go. for watching. See you next time.